Kendall, where are you? I'm with Ryan at his place. You need to get over here right now. You can't just leave. You have to. Something happened. What do you mean something's happened? Is Ryan all right? Sort of. I don't know. I found him outside yours in David's room. It looked like he'd been in a fight. No. What did he say? He doesn't remember anything. His cheek is bleeding. Okay. Okay, what? I'll be right there. We're more than just legal husband and wife. We're partners. We're friends. There's no way in hell that I want to jeopardize that. I mean... To have a friend that I can trust, that I can share anything with, do you realize how amazing that is? Every couple deserves a first dance. allowed to leave yet, just yet, ma'am. That's my husband. I'm following him to the hospital. I'm sorry for your loss. Were you talking to somebody? Yeah, yeah, Greenlee. <clears throat> She's on her way. Maybe she knows something more. Why would Greenlee know something more? Did, did she see what happened? No. But she saw David. I think you guys had it out. So where is Hayward now? Uh, I don't think we have finished our conversation. I think I disagree with that. Damn it, Jesse. There is a murder to solve. So whether you like it or not, we have to work together. the covers and forget this night ever happened. So do I. But unfortunately, I have to go to the hospital and make sure all of this is handled, okay? Baby. After everything we went through, he's just... He's gone just like that. I know, it's... surreal. 
Listen, I gotta ask you, do you think you're okay to drive? Because I thought maybe you'd take the car and I can get a ride. Yeah. Really, I'm fine. Yeah. Now, I know our little one is asleep, but can you give him a kiss for me? I will. I love you. I love you, too. Listen to me, I know that you are not fond of this case, and frankly, neither am I. But this is the one that we are stuck with. Well, there won't be a case unless you let me do my job, Liza. You think I don't see Jesse? Looking over at your wife every five seconds. Yeah, there is a list of suspects a mile long. But frankly, your wife's on the top of that list. Angela, what are you, high? Are you joking? Who's he yelling at? My wife had nothing to do with this. Oh, really? Angie and David were sworn enemies. David has sworn enemies with everybody he knows. And I was with Angela all night. Oh, so is that the word of the police chief or a protective husband? Both. And you need to back off. I can't. Jesse, this is my job. What, to crucify my wife? Listen, you know how this works. There is going to be pressure on you, on me. The public wants answers. The public is glad the man is dead. Okay. You know what? If you don't do this, I will. Like I will find know. Angie when she is alone, and I will get the truth Are out of her. Insane. My wife did not kill David. Oh, so she what, could not. Just take your word for it. That is not enough. She is blind. How do you get in a fight with somebody and not even remember? I don't know if you saw David's room, but it was a mess. Something definitely went down in there. I gotta get out of here. What? No, Ryan, yeah, where? I gotta get to the station, okay? No. Hayward could be there right now, swearing in a statement with Jesse. No, Ryan, sit down. I don't remember anything, Kendall. I don't know what I said to him. I, I don't know what he knows. He could be there right now. Oh, my God. Where's David? You were right to get him out of there. Why? What would what, what happen? What, mean, what, what happened? David is dead. What? What were you? And I? You really don't remember anything? No. Nothing. He collapsed in the middle of the party. It was clear he'd been in a fight. With me. But it was so violent, Ryan. I think David died from it.